So, what is the word sacrifice? Okay, I'm going to let you complete the sentence. Sacrifice is what? Blank. Based on the text. Maybe you have a preconceived idea what is sacrifice mean and and also in, in the in relation also to the text then uh, what is uh, sacrifice is what blank can you add can you complete the sentence <laughs> any thought Because I look at dictionary, there are a lot of Bible examples. We will look at that later. But uh, dictionary tells. Oh, okay, see. From the word tosian. Okay. Tosian uh, sacrifice to slay, kill, slaughter. Uh, root example is Pascal lamb. Something offered that is slain. And in the category of God, in the in the category of God, this is the highest form of sacrifice. They will say that. As Christ, being God, His nature is God. He lived in the splendor. He lived in heaven. <laughs> He exists and he tried to set aside of the the and, um, one aspect I would say uh, we have to be careful I think theologically uh, can I be, be abandoned no uh, it's not abandoning but he set aside and then move to another aspect another form form of servant man wanting something na wala sa iya before and he clothed himself in the flesh and that's that's a sacrificial part of on, on, on Christ he clothed himself and to be slain to be offered that's the picture uh, the idea of the word sacrifice it's something that you can offer and his offering is of course in the first is for the glory for, for their glory as God but the offering the effect of the offering is for his people for the others so ingana ang idea so sacrifice is something that you uh, in in our sa ato nga category as creature uh, lahi man ang iya dili man na nato ang iyang pag uh, ang sacrifice ni Christ is in, in, incomparable dili siya ma compare that's very unique sacrifice nga dili yun ma ma perfectly awat ah, dili yun po ni ma one uh, pero sa ato, we can also offer sacrifice in our category and we will uh, also discuss that later now but the idea is that something that you give up not abandon mura ginang careful kay tali ka term kanin giving up in a sense that uh, you will do something else uh, dili nang lahi man tong word nga abandon nga dili na gyud pareha Christ he is God di abandon niya ang iyang pagkagad dili na dili na mao he is still God but he also do something else he set aside uh, na aga ni diri di ba ingon siya diri la kwan he did that regard equally with God what does that mean because oh, in the sense that he became a human uh, being 
But that doesn't mean that he is not God. Okay? Ang iyang nature as a God, he set aside to fulfill that. Ay nga na ang God. Any question, any thought about this is a little bit big, but this is, if we don't understand sacrifice like this, we don't understand what really sacrifice, what sacrifice, we have to start on God because that's the source of whatever sacrifice we can apply in this Christian life. That's the really the the the, the pattern. Although we cannot fully imitate that, but that's really the, the picture. What does it mean to, to sacrifice? Uh, any thought, Anna? So far, any question? So, to you, one word. Sacrifice is what? Any? Or? Wala pa yung makakumpit. I put this, I, uh, sorry, I put this blank so that based on sa atong uan, we can put on your own words, we can, you can put something, ano, no? Because ang akong, in my personal, based sa, sa text is setting aside something to do something else. Murag, kuan ba? Kung sa tawhano na to, if you have a desire, na mo niya kong aim, and then, naapoy another koan that you have to sacrifice this, you have to set aside this, because I have to do this. Ay nga na ang akong uh, understand, uh, understanding and in sacrifice. Okay. Ano to, Pastor Jones? Kung sa ito, ang kategory ng offering, ang uh, offering that pleases God. Okay. An offering, uh, a sacrifice is an offering that the, that you give to God that pleases Him. Okay. Like for example, in the area of uh, giving, Verse 18 of Philippians chapter 4, but I have received everything in full. Uh, this is referring to a monetary support for the Apostle Paul. Okay. I am happily supplied, having received from the Prophetus what he have sent a fragrant aroma, an acceptable sacrifice. Okay, I'm going to discuss that a little later on. But at least we, we, we have. At least, I personally, I really um, try to go deeper and you know, what really sacrifice me? Am, am I doing this? Uh, something like that. And then, uh, do I understand this? And I found out now, I, maybe I don't. Maybe it's a self-denial. Self-denial. Like, like denying yourself that you cannot sacrifice without self-denial uh, there's no way you have to give up some of your I am quite fully but I'm going to later on about the, the practical aspect now let me read to you the author of the book, okay? Uh, the statement from Peter Masters, and this is open for discussion. Let uh, let's see if he uh, what he's saying is true and reality. Let's look at this, okay? This is his statement, uh, a book. Uh, the great enemy of the sacrificial spirit today, the great enemy of the sacrificial spirit today is the comfortable lifestyle which has become a basic human right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, continue. An almost unconscious covetousness and acquisitive acquisitiveness can creep in, can, can creep in among even the best believers, making them soft and self pampering to some degree. Okay, that's his name. 
So, do you understand what you say? Uh, ang bisan gani ingon siya, bisan gani ang best believers. Uh, best believers in a sense, a very faithful, strong, mature, still become a victim of this aspect. Uh, the great enemy of the sacrificial spirit today is the comfortable lifestyle. In other words, what he's saying is that uh, a person having a, uh, a strong desire of acquiring and possessing things. idea. What do you think, Ani? Is he correct? Is he correct in reality? Hmm. Uh, is he correct that the main goal of Christianity today is comfortable lifestyle? Is he correct on that? Can we say yes? Huh? Generally speaking, the comfortable lifestyle. Now, we have to be careful also. I think he is not saying it's wrong to have a comfortable life. He is not saying that. What he is saying is that uh, what is wrong is when it becomes your highest priority. Na maura gin na imong mona na imong goal, second dali na lang imong bad. Ang goal na ko na plus target kayo ang akong pamuyo. Ha? Plus target. That's wrong. Because it's good to have a comfortable life. Pero kung mauna na ang iyong pinaka main priority sa life, that becomes the enemy of sacrificial spirit. Okay? Continue. Continue, ha? This is still his statement. Yet it continue. Gone are the days, he said, Gone are the days when the poorest believers would painfully yet got gladly tied, filling envelopes with cash and making them for various missionaries. Gone are the days, he said. He's talking about the reality maybe 30 years, 30 years, back to 30 years, and then karon ang reality sa mga Christian. Uh, now, generally, mauna yan yung observation na naapagyapo yung mga tao, mga Christians, na very bisan galison, still willing to sacrifice. We understand that there are dilini siya, uh, but he is talking about general aspect sa yung observation. Gone are the days, hindi siya, wala na. Wala na gana the days when the poorest believers would painfully yet gladly tight and tight filling envelopes missionaries uh, with cash and making them uh, for various uh, missionaries. You see the difference? Uh, he is not talking about how much amount because he's talking the poor people, poor, poor believers, son. Huh? What he's pointing out is the joy of Christian suffering. Can you remember the so na mga young people? Sa kuan? Gusto mo ato seminary. Daghan kayo sa among uh, time. Halos gusto mo ato seminary. Pugnan lang is mama lagi. Ayaw lang pagpaan lang, ayaw lang pagpastor, ayaw lang pagpaypunuban. Ayaw lang, sige lang mga lagad na ito sa ginagro. Sila mag-ilagad. Mga tutok yan. Grabe na apa na. Pero karun, bisa ko tawa ni Magdolon ay ang ipong ato dito kay Marawang Puntay. Lison kayo. Nagkabot pa ko ang ilagadag. Mom, I want to serve the Lord. I want to offer my life full-time ministry. Naka-abot pa po ang nakatay. Pero, 
sa una ang, ang seminary puro puno ko sa mga time. Ku ano man ang capacity 10 sa sa karong. Mo mo bigin si. Pio na kaya na. Bawo na kaya na. Da da na mga kuan, da na mga Grabe ang anay stack room dito di luan di putangan ng mga estudyante. Grabe ka pio kit. Sa amo sa seminary ang pin, pinaka Kami ang pinakadagan, but so for 100 ka pin, 100 ka pin, basta. Pero pagka uh, after first semester, pagka naman ako, gamay mo dito, so, kaya dagan kaya naman, usahin mo, ma-overwhelm lang ba? Pero ang point is that, ingon siya, purang nakawala na niya ang concept, kaya na pinang willing mo, kung gamit siya ginuhok ko na yun. Now, uh, any thought, any question, Ali, so far? Grabe. So, let's look at some passages uh, that build the idea of Christian sacrifice. Una, katong passage na to. Um, pwede ko mag-request ha? Uh, makabasa ani mo dua ka pasin si ang yun ako si Nico please take kaning Mark 12:41-44 Mark 12:41-44 ah uh, during aside Aljon engineer Aljon please ah uh, Second Corinthians 8 1 to 5 sige go Nick please Verse 41, and he sat down opposite the treasury and began observing how the people were putting money into the treasury. And many rich people were putting it in large sums. A poor widow came and put in two small copper coins, which amount to a cent. Calling his disciples to him, he said to them, Truly I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the contributors to the treasury. For they all put in out of their surplus, but she out of her poverty put in all she owned, all she had to live on. Okay. Malayo ko, Aljun. Ito, Corinthians 8, 1-5. We want you to know, brothers, about the grace of God that has been given among the churches of Macedonia. For in a severe test of affliction, their abundance of joy and their extreme poverty have overflowed in a wealth of generosity on their part. For they gave according to their means, as I can testify, and beyond their means of their own accord, begging us earnestly for the favor of taking part in the relief of the saints. And this is not as we expected, but they gave themselves first to the Lord and then by the will of God to us. Okay, thank you. Now, these passages, uh, we cannot find the word sacrifice, okay? But the implication of these passage, passages, strongly sacrificial. Claro <laughs> huh? it, We cannot find the word sacrifice, but it implies the uh, sacrificial act of church and individual, widow, poor widow. Now, this passage, we can... There's, there are so many passages, itanaw na ako, grabe. Pero kanilang, uh, we can, based on these passages, we, uh, this would serve as a ground for Christian sacrifice. At least, kung may mong tag, mag-sacrifice ko, we have a biblical ground. Muling point na no? And what struck me most is uh, the story of the poor widow. Also, uh, that one, that the context is about tax when uh, the scribes, I think the scribe asked Jesus Christ, uh, are we gonna give? What is that? Katong, what is that? Do you have any coin? Do you have any penny? And then the Tanao, who is this inscription? Caesar. So give to Caesar what is due to Caesar and give to God what is due to God. And then, uh, sa context, ani, uh, and I question, does Christian, katong sa klase na to, uh, does Christian 
pay tax. And this is also one of the uh, verses that uh, that really grounded us that even we are Christian, but we have to pay tax because of this one, because of this passage. Uh, yes. Now, Jesus observed how people diba, na treasury and then he sit down in the opposite observing people how they are going to give and then uh, ingon siya nga ang mga dagan man, mga kwartahan hatag but uh, aning apart uh, Christ is pointing out the difference between surplus giving uh Versus all she had in life. Ito wag din yung isay po, sali ka rin mo. Kanang may hana, ingot niya. She gave more than any person yung naghatag karun. Because ang uman, naghatag lang surplus. Dag ko ilang ihatag, pero surplus. Pero kaning babae, very penny. Kung sa I don't know, pila equivalent. Ano. Pero ang idea is, gamay lang yung kanya yung gatag. Pero, it's not about the amount. As what I have said a while ago, it's not about the amount, it's about giving everything. Huh? It's very clear that the issue is not about how much. But it's about are you willing to give your entire Ingon si Jesus Grabe ang commendation ni Jesus Christ At ang babae um, As to the question what, Is she a Christian? Dili man ako ang Ang, ang, ang ginatulong niya sa iyo mga disciples is When you give Give all ha? Is that mean we have to give all our money? No it, it, It's more on Really, the heart, the attitude, the motive behind giving. Ah, hey, I don't know because na I operate na on nga na I usak ka Kristo anong nga kung mag maghatag siya kwan, tayo kung nagyana niyo, mga bayik kwan lagi, yahan na pagit niya ba kung Pagkita ko naman, dahan yung kayo ba? Ngayon na rin yung... Di sa kayo na yan. Grabe kayo, yes, you give a lot, but that's not... Dili na mo ang buwan. Of course, we did. Mahalay, pero dili na mo. It's more on your attitude. That's what Jesus, Jesus Christ, He itudlo niya sa iyong mga disciples. Itawag niya. Uh, it's more on uh, sacrificial, not more on the amount. Grabe ni ang church sa Corinthians, uh, katong give di sa Second Corinthians eight. Ingon siya, they give beyond their ability. Grabe, they give generously. This is my humble. They do an extra mile ba? Mahal lang yun niya kung makaya but I can still go mile up. Extend. Grabe ang, grabe ang pag picture sa sacrificial. Yeah. Of course, more on money but we will not talk more on money. Uh, so, any question about uh, about the the topic that what is sacrifice and we look at the text the primary example is Christ the life of Christ and then we look at also passages that that uh, give us an example a clear example that we can put it as a ground why we are going to sacrifice any question any thought Pan Pastor sa pagong ibasa ko naman ako. Nalagyan po sa Pan Second Corinthians chapter 8 uh, verse 9. 
For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that you by his poverty might become rich. So, share ka mo, mo contribute ka sa need sa, sa church, sa saints, not because kung okay, only a noble or prudent thing to do, but we share the Lord Kay, only the what the Lord Jesus Christ sa tulang. So, grabe ka katitimental factor ang gospel for us to be motivated to share. Okay, apart from it, apart from what Christ has done, there's no motivation for us to give. But, They first gave themselves to the Lord of the Lord. If you don't have the money, dili ang money, dili ang money, you can't get money, you can't get So, you flow with na That follows. That follows. If you don't have the money, you can't get money, you can't get money, you can't get money, you can't get reflect the Okay. Now, sa Romans chapter 12, sa text uh, This is one of the passages commonly used on call to worship. Di ba, Moni? I beseech you, there are mag, mag But, the extent of this cannot confined on corporate worship only. We can use that. Huh? But this is not only being used in Sunday, uh, but also in the practical and daily walk. Because the context is from theology, but about Romans 12, Paul is talking about how we are going to live in our daily in daily Asia Sunday verse this is a day-to-day -day living. I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Uh, Dili siya more on Sunday, kaya ang media ning uh, verse ginagamit na rin ito Sunday, ginabasa lang niya sa, sa worship leader. Uh, call to worship. No, no, no. This is practical. Daily walk. As you walk, you are sacrificing yourself, offering to God. As your your life becomes a pleasing aroma. Hinga na ang idea. Nidili, nidinga. Karun lang tama ang offer of sacrifice sa gilo. Uh, uh, we do this corporately and individually. Okay? So, what level Christian can offer sacrifice sacrifices to God? What level? As what I have said, that it could the level it could be personal level. Personally, you can offer sacrifice to that church level. As this, we can also uh, offer sacrifice to God in the community. You can participate as long as it's not compromising the gospel, the truth. You can also participate. Uh, na may mga community kuhaan na uh, maka-offer ka punta. Uh, I offer this for the Lord. Uh, participating the community. Kuhaan uh, nga na. Uh, so, wala tayo kuhaan. Wala tayo excuse. Ani. Kaya ka pinabuhi ta aning uh, reality. Bisan uh, ba niya wala ka pinabuhi sa iyong personal yung pinabuhi. Uh, pero sa iyong personal na kinabuhi, you can offer sacrifices. 
what are some examples of sacrifices Christian can offer to God? And some of the examples, like what Pastor John said, monetary, and that one uh, that you share, you give talent, so forget time, services, service. Oh, ang imong ibuok din ang buhay ko. Yata din. Everyone is a full-time Christian. Okay? Is a full-time Christian. Wala siya yung itawag na part-time. Part-time Christianity. No, everyone is called to be a full-time Christian. For those who are uh, Save, but not everyone is called to be in the full time ministry. Okay, we have to understand that. Um, me, myself, and Pastor Bill, we are in that area that we give our lives in the full time. Um, you also serve God full timely as a Christian in different in different uh, aspect. Uh, kami, ang among full time is more on here. Kamu, kung mag-work mo, full time Christian working in the corporate world, uh, business, or kung sa mga, mga areas sa uh, employment. Yun. But everyone is <coughs> called to be a full-time Christian. And it is necessary for a Christian to really exercise sacrificial uh, uh, offer sacrifices for the glory of God. Come on Now, the challenge si Peter Master di kuan yun niya akong dagan man siya yung suggestion pero murag gini kayo <laughs> recable sa ato pa murag sa iya sa ilang kuan pero ang akong nabantayan sa iya is i-determine niya ang problem na ang ang desire karoon sa mga tao is more on comfortable life and we have to be careful na na because that becomes the enemy of uh, Christian sacrifice uh, sacrificial spirit and then, na siya ground aning sacrificial. Moto mga pas, o sarang man kapasit, pero ako lang i-develop po na buwan. So, from that problem, i-diagnose niya, and then, morning dapat, morning dapat ipopos sa mga Christmanon. And then, ang challenge niya is, let's bring back and rekindle the spirit of sacrifice. Muna nang nawala, dito nawala na tara nito. So muna yung atong i-rekendol. I-balik taan yung concept. Kung saan pa yung mga practical kayo na ako. Practical nga application regarding ano yun. But uh, I hope you have something today about uh, sacrifice. We have to work out on this we struggle. Even ako kurang, especially ako sa ka prepare ko ni krabi na kurang 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 ani na kurang na wala ko sa aling halaman area. Any, anything, any question? Uh, practical sa uh, sacrifice ko. Oh. Dari lang sa context sa uh, church, what? Uh, um, like for instance, uh, nakita ni mo ang grace ni mo sa mga kinsa kaya niya pagpangga, na pagtubay sa tanan ni mo mga needs. Then, di mo matay na siya, like for instance, kung pagpalot, ito ka, like pag, pagpalot ka, usually get ang um, bayad ni Mustang Palot na mua si Kinta 
Ah, uh, sa gracias sa Dino sa mo ah, dili lang kay sa kanan context ng sa nga nga dili sa ban. Kabalo ka nga kanan kanang bangkero, dili gid sufficient ang ilang tuan, ang ilang kanang income. So pakita ni mo ang grace ni Lord. Kada bitaw murag imo bitaw i times tuan instead nga kaning amount imo pagyud tuan imo pagyud double mo ang account ba nga imo di hatag. Kada instead nga 50 a 100 imo di hatag. Tungod sa context sa uh, kanang gabi ka mayo okay. so, kung ano kabalo biya ka nga ang imong budget matuwaan na po pero sa context nga gabi ka mayo dito sa imo so imo po may express po na nga grace sa ila po that's a good practice now to do an extra mile okay. nakita mo muna po na kang ako ng examples na so barrier kuyo po rin ni Og Sibu ba ah. usually ang titig yung sa padulong sa rindingan one ang titig ni Kung i-buy meter na good, ang bayad na lang niya, kung ano na good, mga 600, 600 din na, buy meter, o 500, kung ano. Kung nagbulong ko, mga one way, ito, gusto, check in kayo, kung yun, i-bayad din, mga 2-5. Nga walay ko, ano, paano ko magto, ha? Nga, dito ko nakapangalando, paano magto. Every time, mga kung ano, yun ay, lang, money ang rate, pero, kung say, times 3, times 1, mga, ano, magawa ito, mga, Walang kung ano po na So nag-reflect nyo po na Sa ako po itong ginakita na po na kang kasulbari na Tungod na, na-realize po na po sa kaayos sa gino Ginakuan po na Ginatry po na po Okay, kawalang po nga Yes, now, it's not more than I The issue is not the amount you know this thing It's more on the heart That I'm going to do extra Sacrificial Magkulangan nga rin, pero sige na. We can, alay nga na ang buwan ba? Pero ayaw ko ito gastuwa ang panggatas sa iyong lahat. Ayaw na. Pero kung nga ay, buwan, pati ilang, balik na lang barat. Ayaw nga na ba? So, sige nga na ang buwan. That's a good practice, being a Christian. We are not saved by doing an extra money. But if you're a Christian, then you have to do it. You are old, you are challenged, you are uh, required to do an extra money. Do you know To the point nga, kung wala ka kabalo, ang imong mga naing kwarta nga kita ito, hindi man na yung magkatapang yabong na yung mong maabot ang panahon, no? Kung tayo may tapong sa imo, hindi nga na ba? And then, walay, walay gawong mangkortak, no? Walay gawong uh, pag-abot sa life and death situation. Kanang, kanang kuha na ginpa, panahon na ni mo. Ano pa man, ma-extend pa man ni mo kinabuhin, kaya naman kay kwarta, pero tingin na siya makakatag kinabuhin na buwan sa iyo. Buwan, katong sa, sa Matthew, uh, uh, ang, ang money cannot Then a cubit of uh, one cubit of everything of the way. So uh, it's not about really the but it's about the sacrifice part. We have to rekindle our, ourselves. Meditate this uh, from time to time so to day, daily work. Okay. Okay, let's pray. Thank you so much. Lord, salamat sa iyong pulong na rin nga adlaw. And uh, I pray na ikaw mag-bless ni di pananangilid ni sa mga mga kinabuhi. Uh, now, uh, maka, ma-apply din na mo, Lord, individually and as a church also. Bless our time together at the remaining time in Jesus' name.